Hello, I wanted to spend a few moments and talk about um, ways to cite your sources. So throughout this course, you are required to not only locate resources, but to also cite those resources. And in this course specifically, as well as many of your other courses, you will be asked to cite those following APA or American Psychological Association guidelines. Those are very specific and the requirement for this is very stringent. So what I wanted to do with you is to show you how to take an article that you find uh, just online and turning that into the APA citation. So here in front of us, you will see an article that I pulled up quickly to um, explain the seven common types of plagiarism. So what I am going to do with that is I am going to copy the URL. So I will go up to the top and I will copy the entire URL, everything from the HTTPS to the very end. So I am going to use Control C on my keyboard as I am using a PC and I'm going to copy the URL and then I'm going to take this back a little bit. So from Google, uh, one of the easiest tools for me to use is something called Zotero Bib. So when I type in ZO, because I've used it before, it pops up immediately. So I'm going to select Zotero Bib, and it is the very first one that pops up. You will see here I have ZBib. It is not only is it excellent, but it's free and it's very easy to use, and it does fo it can focus on APA. So I'm going to select that link. So when you reach this home page, it's very basic. You want to make sure here that you have the correct format selected. We will be using APA. And you always want to make sure that it is the most recent version of APA. There is an eighth version. However, for our purposes, the seventh is the most current one offered, and that is perfectly fine. So then I'm going to click in this bar. And I'm going to paste using my PC. I will press Control and V to paste the link. And then I'm going to click Cite. So now you see, just that easy, this is my APA citation. So I'm going to select that. Again, I'm going to copy with Control C. I'm going to hop over to a Word document. Um, you could also hop over to Canvas if you are creating a discussion board post or an assignment, but I'm going to paste with control V. So now I have a full citation for one of my sources. The other thing you need to make sure you are doing is in the body of your work. So when I say your work, I'm talking about what you have written. You need to make sure you indicate where you have used this source and those are called in-text citations so in the body of your paper um, in your essay in your discussion response whatever it is you are writing you will have in parentheses the first the author's last name or the first couple words followed by a comma and then you will look at the year as it appears in your full citation and then you will close your parentheses. So each time you use this source, you need to make sure that you have this in-text citation to show me as the person reading and grading your work immediately when I am reading your post or your paper or your response, I will see this in-text citation to know that you have found this from another source. And then I can immediately go to your references list and I will find this source because the first couple words here will lead me directly to this source um, in that references list. I hope this has, help, has helped you. It's a very easy process and it is one that will um, save you from losing points throughout the term. Let me know if you have any questions.